Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In today's video, I'm going to explain you about the concept of reinforcement learning. Okay, so in today's video, we'll learn about reinforcement learning in machine learning, and in the next coming videos, we will be learning about what Q learning is and what temporal differences, some some other concepts related to uh, reinforcement learning. Okay, along with reinforcement learning, I'll also explain you the Markov's principle. Okay, make sure that you watch the video till the end so that you can understand everything clearly. Okay, done. So let's get into the video now. First, uh, what is reinforcement learning actually? Reinforcement Reinforcement learning is nothing but it will learn depending on the changes which are happening in the environment. It will learn depending on the changes. So you know what supervised learning is, right? So what do you mean by supervised learning? The human will explicitly teach the machine how to perform, how to uh, do particular action, right? And what do you mean by unsupervised learning? And unsupervised learning, computer itself will learn. No human will come and explicitly teach something. The computer itself will learn. Now in reinforcement learning, what happens? Here also learning, but the learning it depends learns it, it will learn depending on the changes which are happening in the environment. For example, when you are playing a game, right? initially whatever moves you are doing is not known to the game, right? So initially the game will not predict. Okay, uh, first he will uh, turn right, then left, then the game doesn't know what you will do initially right so when you are playing so when you're playing depending on the moves that you are making the game will be changing right so in the same way even in the reinforcement learning also it will learn depending on the changes which are happening in the environment which are depending on the changes which are happening in the game like that okay so it it mainly depends on environment and may mainly depends on some external factors is what you need to remember here okay done now what is the main goal in the reinforcement learning not only in the reinforcement learning in each and every learning strategy what is our main goal our main goal is to achieve the best result right always we need to get the best result always we need to get the proper outcome efficient hundred percent efficient outcome we have to get us what we always think right so here for example uh, you are playing chess okay now when you are playing the chess game what is your goal your goal is to win the game right you are your opponent has to lose the game and you should win the game so in order to win the game what you will do you will be uh, you know making moves against your opponent so that you will have the more probability of winning right so for example at each and every stages you'll have different different choices like you can move right so when you are playing chess what are the choices you have you can move right you can move left up down right uh, I seriously don't know how to play chess so if if I say anything wrong please don't mind for that so you can move and how do you make the move initially itself you don't make all the moves and sit right depending on the move your opponent is making you will be making a move right so initially you will be setting coins you will set your uh, 16 coins yeah 16 coins and your opponent will set his 16 coins next depending on the moves that he the opponent is making you will make moves in order to make him lose the game right so this is an example of reinforcement learning again another example uh, suppose we are having an agent or we are having a human being let us take or somebody you take you have some person and that person is having two choices number one is fire and number two is water okay from fire and water he has to choose one choice and what is that one choice if he chooses fire what happens he'll go and he'll go into fire right he'll burn right his body will turn into ash so actually fire is a wrong choice right but water is a good choice so here since fire is a wrong choice how to indicate it is a wrong choice to the person you can indicate it either with a red sign right uh, the wrong choice can be indicated with the red symbol red color and the right choice can be uh, indicated with green color like that or tick mark or into mark or danger mark whatever it is you can have some representation right so in this case what we are doing is whenever he chooses fire since it is a wrong choice we are doing minus 50 negative 50 points we are giving him okay suppose he is having 500 points then if he is choosing fire his points will become 4 50 like that so we are deducting his points minus 50 we are doing when when he is choosing for fire because fire is a wrong choice suppose he choose water then since it is a correct choice how to make the agent or the human being or somebody or the machine or the bot to learn that it has made a good choice we are giving plus 50 right you can give any kind of indication you can give okay so here we are giving plus 50 points in case of a correct choice okay so whenever 
so whenever an action is being done that is whenever a user or an agent or a gamer or whoever it is takes a decision that decision uh, we give an indication right whether that is wrong or right and that is called as the feedback okay so whenever choice is made whether it may be a wrong choice or whether it may be a correct choice we will be sending a feedback to the agent or to the uh, person okay then based on this feedback only the right choice is taken that is from the next time the agent will get habituated that if i choose fire i'll get negative 50 points so that is why i have to always go with water only i should never go near fire so that idea that conclusion the agent will be getting from how the agent will be getting the agent will be getting that conclusion with the help of this feedback which we give so feedback we will be giving irrespective of it is right or it is wrong okay then so while choosing a fire he is getting minus 50 so he'll never go for fire from the next time by choosing water he is getting plus 50 points right his goal is to achieve the target or his goal is to maximize his points so that is why he will be always choosing for water only okay done now uh, we are done with this uh, what reinforcement learning is right i hope you understand now i will explain you what is markov's decision problem uh, after this with the next video we will be learning about the q learning okay no issue no hurry so markov's decision problem is again a simple thing so an agent will be doing an action right so an agent will be doing an action and because of that action an event happens and that event uh, will have a state whether it is a positive that is you know correct state or negative uh, you know not positive negative uh, you know a correct action or negative uh, wrong action like that okay done and uh, if there are any changes we will be modifying them according to the changes uh, which we have to implement okay and what are the examples for this we have the examples q learning and temporal difference i will be explaining about q learning in the next video and in the la later video i'll be explaining about the uh, temporal difference as well done so that's all for this video I hope uh, you understood what I explained in this video. If not, if you are not able to understand any point, just um, let me know in the comment section. I'll definitely try to make another video regarding that, what you have not understood. Okay. The, thanks for watching the video till the end. And if you're still having any doubt, uh, as I already said, if you have... Uh, if you're having your exam schedule nearby just let me know that in the comment section you know your exam date in the comment section along with your college name so that i can make videos by then 